Hello guys, welcome back once again, and this time we're going to talk about the good old Dreamcast. A lot of people who had a Dreamcast have very fond memories of playing online games. You know, obviously like Fantasy Star, you know, online, you know, uh, Quake 3 Arena, uh, you know, Toy Racer. I played, of course, NFL 2K on my Dreamcast because I had the original Sports Edition Dreamcast, which now I have the good old Grey Dreamcast. And... I would say this back in the day when I played the football, when it was out on there, it was seamless. The only problem you had back then with football was people would quit if they're losing because they didn't want to lose, which, you know, you don't play online to, to, to win all the time, but some people wanted to. Well, while well, Sega may officially close these servers a long time ago, there's been a community that's been built for a long time out there that have been playing games still online. Their community is based just around Fantasy Star Online, where if you find their websites where they have a certain day or two a week, they all get online together and play. That Some of the games are very well live because of the fans. And this is one of the cool things about fans, keeping games alive that otherwise we dead. Heck, there's still PlayStation 2 games still active. You can still play online to this day. They're not dead. They're still alive. But obviously most people cannot afford the, obviously, the broadband adapter for the Dreamcast because it is very pricey these days. Well... Thanks to DreamPi, which is basically a new piece of software for the Raspberry Pi uh, microcomputer that makes online gaming to the Dreamcast not exactly easy. There are steps that normal people probably wouldn't do, but it is there are solutions. There's a solution around buying that modem. Now, there is a small setup. So for example, you're going to need, obviously, your Dreamcast with a modem adapter. Uh, if you have the Revision A uh, US modem adapter, you do not need to do the the telephone cord. Then we have to make this in induction circuit. You don't have to do that. And an induction circuit sounds worse than it really is, but in order to make this work, you'd have to do that. If you do not have the Revision A modem, uh, you know, regular in your modem, uh, obviously a Raspberry Pi, an SD card, uh, a Lynx compatible USB dial up voice modem, a telephone cable, Ethernet cable, and Dreamcast browser software, or for example, DreamKey 3.0. Uh, and you need this to make this work. Now, people say, well, that's a lot of effort. Well, it's either do that or go out and spend a lot of money for the, the broadband adapter, because the broadband adapter has continually continues to go up in price for the Dreamcast because it's sought after by Dreamcast collectors to play their games online. The online community around these games are still very active. A lot of the online games are still very much alive. And uh, this is just a cool thing to talk about because it's a cool alternative for people who don't want to buy a modem but have the, you know, understanding and enough to know about, you know, splitting cable and making enough law electronics to make this. Now, they do have a page you can go to that shows you know, instructions what to do if you want to do this. Again, this is not for everybody. This is just an alternative for somebody who doesn't want to go out and have to spend the money for the, the broadband adapter. Again, this is one more reason for people to get a Raspberry Pi. Again, Raspberry Pi has basically been known as a micro, small micro computer, uh, you know, for emulation that doesn't cost very much. And so it's a cheap alternative uh, for those people who don't want to spend a lot of money. And all these things listed, again, to make this work are not incredibly expensive by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, do you want to put that much work in to make it work? Or would you rather save up to buy the broadband adapter? If you're a hands-on kind of guy, the solution might work for you. If you're the kind of person who has to buy what you want, as my phone's going off at the same time, then there, there there's your choices again. Uh, it's cool how this day and age... We find so many interesting solutions around retro sense of system problems that existed for a long time. Meaning the broadband adapter is not widely available for people. Most people didn't buy one that had a Dreamcast. Because really Dreamcast had, uh, I had the system, you know, in its lifespan. It was a great system. But a lot of people just ignored it or it died so quickly people ignored it. And now people are finding that it's a great system. And a lot of people really have a lot of memories tied to Fantasy Star Online and they want to play it again, this might be a solution. So what do you think? Would you go to all this work to make it work? 
with a Raspberry Pi. Again, if you ever own a Raspberry Pi, you own a Dreamcast. Of course, if you have a U.S. Motor Revision A uh, in your Dreamcast, you don't have to go through the work of the cable, splitting the cable and stuff like that. But would you do this to make it work? Are you like the kind of person that says, you know what, I don't care about online on my system, or I'll just save up and get the broadband adapter? For me, I, I don't know if I want to do this much work if I had one Dreamcast. Maybe if I had a second Dreamcast, then maybe I'd do the work to be like, you know what, I have a second one. This would be something cool to kind of do, see how well it works again. Uh, but if I had my, I just have one, I'm more unlikely to do it, uh, and eventually I might save up because I want the broadband adapter anyway uh, somewhere down the road. Anyway, love to hear your guys' opinions like always, and I'll make another video soon. Later, guys.